Hi bitches and bros and non-binary hoes, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We got quite the journey, just look where I need to go. I don't even know how I haven't explored this part of the map like at all. Because I, I am doing side missions, like I look like I I'm completing camps and relics. I'm just like really, really surprised I haven't visited some areas. Whatever. We got quite the journey. Do I have to go to Falls Edge or is that optional? I guess I have to go there too. I just want to see Alva and see like the the best ship in this game we have so far. I just want to see her. So they kind of remind me of Harley and Ivy, in a way. In a way. Do 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 do. Um, man, it's, hopefully I find like a, a horse or something on the way there. I have an Elden Ring question that was brought up on Twitter that, oh shit. I'm actually very curious about. Has someone actually beaten Elden Ring in this world? Has there, is that person, has there anybody on this planet that's beaten Elden Ring? I'm very curious. I'm sure there is, but I don't even know how. You can beat it so quickly. And I think there's chargers there. Could I use something other than fire? Oh god damn it. Bye! Ow! God damn. Sent everything after me. <laughs> I just gotta have a shift to work so I might be a little tired. Kind of, not really though. Because I had a chill day, but still, it's work. And also, let's just say, I, I may have seen some events that... Well, maybe not seen, but... I saw... Maybe I shouldn't talk about it, but... I'm trying not to go into too specific, but... I basically saw, let's say, just some results... That is gonna get somebody probably fired, which is rough. Sucks to be them. And to be as vague as possible it has something to do with money. I don't want to get too specific with it. By the way, call me crazy, but I'm actually watching Game of Thrones right now. I know, I know about the bad ending. Well, I don't know what happens, but I know that it has a le apparently a notoriously horrible ending. I'm kind of scared about it because I actually really like this show. I really like this world. I like a lot of the characters, even though some of them are really fucking scummy. But a lot of the show is really well written. I really like it so far. I'm on season two, and I really like it. I'm not really usually into medieval stuff that much. There are certain things, like I'm not into fantasy, but there are certain things that I like. You know, I like Harry Potter. I like God of War. As for like medieval, I don't know. 
I mean, I know this game is kind of inspired off it, of medieval and like Native American like history, kind of. This must be Falls Edge. Tell us that I could be supply here and hit for the front door. But yeah, I'm not really too into medieval, but if you're not really into it, because my dad's not into it, and he really likes the show too. I don't want to do a side quest right now. Okay. That falls edge behind me. Gotta head west until I reach yeah, the it's a really good show, which kind of worries me about the ending of it. So I'll be sure to update you when I finish it and what, what tell you what I think. But I, I really like this show. I think my favorite character is Tyron Lannister. <laughs> I fucking love Peter Dinklage. You're probably Daenerys Targaryen, Amelia Clark, or Jon Snow. I really like him. Um, like nothing to upgrade. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. Oh, that was a small one. I should have crafted a bigger one. Shit. Wait, is there a hunter here? There's got to be a hunter here, right? Yeah, I think I see one because I need a uh, material. I need material. Alright, up. Okay, so it's like right above me. I don't know what I'm trying to do, I just gotta make my way all the way around back there. So where was my stash at? There he is. Cool-looking bow. Cool-looking tripcaster. Nice outfit. Alright, what do I need? Really? There's nothing you want. It, chill out with your sass, just fucking wait. Sassy McSassy? Jesus Christ. People have no fucking patience, like my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna need some of this. A lot of this. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff I could buy. Okay. I didn't realize that like at all. Now you can make a statement. Chill water and bone. Hold up. Okay. Do -do -do. Like two hundred of these. Oh wait, I got stuff to sell too. I got a bunch of shit to sell.
You can have all this, my good friend. Might as well, like, buy a bunch of blaze while I'm at it. Buy all of them, shit. Shit! Now I got money up my ass. I'm like fucking Donald Trump in this bitch. It wasn't a raging racist. <laughs> uh, you guys remember when Mac Miller, rest in peace, my dude, he was a legendary artist. You guys remember when Mac Miller made that song, Donald Trump? That was actually a banger of a song. Right, I'm gonna fully upgrade this outfit because it's a trophy for upgrading an outfit fully, so I'm gonna do that. I have it already? I, I didn't know I had it. Alright. <laughs> Hold up, let me do I have it? I didn't know I had it. I thought I didn't. Oh my god. It could run this like fucking crazy immersive game. But it has a hard time running this. Hmm, where is it? I swear there was a trophy here. Huh, I guess I was wrong. I didn't see it. I swear I saw a trophy like that. Anyway, give me your potions. That I cannot buy. Okay. Cool. I don't buy any of that shit. That's just wonderful. All right, we'll see you guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're going. We're going. We're going. I'm kidding. I just want to get this on the map just so I can come back to it next time. Anything to report? Full of rebels. Just wreck all kinds of ass. In charge and take them out. We'll do that next time, Aloy. I get you're a very violent woman, and I, I like it. I respect it even, but... We have to go meet your future waifu. I know you like this girl a lot, so I'm doing this for the benefit of you. You need a partner, Aloy. Damn, anytime I need a horse, there's no, like, horse or charger in sight. It's always the fucking harder machines, the ones I have to fight. It's always good to have extra.
Yep. Nice, nice, nice. I can craft as many as I want now. Not those, though. Point is, I got a substantial amount of ammo. I should be good for a fight. Which I'm sure is going to happen. Why else would he tell me to... to restock? Discover another campfire. I'm discovering a lot of them. Anyway, can I talk about something that just really annoyed me right now? So there's a st uh, a new story. Ah, a new story. There's some news developing on YouTube. Um, Brendan Shaw. For those of you who don't know, he's a he's an ex UFC fighter who I'm gonna put it as lightly as I can. Who fucking sucks a major ass. All that dude was a was just a punching bag. He didn't really gain fame until he went on Joe Rogan's podcast, and he's been on it like 50 goddamn times. So he's a pretty frequent guest, and he kind of like piggybacked off his fame. And he was also the one who had that really brutal... Joe Rogan had this really brutal talk with him about UFC, and he told him, basically, you should really quit, you're getting your shit kicked in. <laughs> he didn't say it exactly like that, but he basically said that. And that went on for like 30 minutes, and it was really uncomfortable, but it was honestly kind of brutally honest. Like, it really should have been, but... Anyway, he, he's like a podcaster now. He's a horrible, horrible comedian. He's got to be like the worst I've ever seen. Other than maybe like Amy Schumer. But the point is, is that some YouTuber made fun of him. And I don't know much about the YouTuber. I just know he made like a joke about him. And Brendan Schaub... Literally got his, he, I think he like copyrighted struck his channel and he sh took it down. He got his channel taken down because of a joke he made about him. It's just like, what a fucking loser. Like, you're a, a fucking famous comedian millionaire. And you're getting offended by some butt, by some YouTuber. Who had like fucking 10k subs, by the way. You have millions and like 10,000 podcasts. That for some reason people watch. I really don't understand because... I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna be blunt. I find this guy, like, fucking terrible. Like, he's utter crap. Seriously, try to watch some of his comedy. It is so fucking bad. It is awful. I get comedy is subjective, but who would literally find that man funny? It sucks, some fat, stinky asshole. It's so bad. I'm not exaggerating either. It's horrible. I always thought, you know, his comedy sucks, at least before this. But, you know, he seemed like a, a cool, fun dude. But until this, where he's just, like, such a butthurt asshole. That he can make jokes, but you make a joke about me, and I can't take it. Like, come on. Like, what a fucking loser. That's all I can think about. It's just... Man, what a fucking sour loser. You're a famous comedian. Undeservingly, to be honest. And you got so mad that somebody made fun of you on YouTube. I I don't know how, but when you have like one star and like 10% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes of people just clowning on you on how bad you are. And there's like thousands of videos of people making fun of your comedy. I don't really get it. But that just like really annoyed me like. Like, imagine him, like, coming out and trying to take me down. He'd probably win. And I would go to court and try to sue his ass for that. Because, first of all, I'm not even using any of his clips, by the way. The thing that won him that case... Well, not a case, but won him that strike was that... The YouTuber showed a, a clip of his, like, podcast or something to make fun of him. And he got really butthurt about it. I don't I don't remember what he said, but it doesn't even fucking matter. 
it doesn't matter that much if it's just like a joke. Just like, what a fucking sour vagina you are. <laughs> And if you try to do that shit to me, he couldn't do it because I'm not even using a clip of you. I'm just talking about it. And even if it is, it's fair use. <laughs> it is fair use. Freedom of speech. We can say whatever we want. Now, sure, there are consequences, yeah, but... In that case, it's definitely a freedom of speech, fair use situation. Like, what? Like, I'm sorry your comedy sucks and people make fun of you for it. But seriously, this is not going to make people like you even more now. <laughs> it's just going to make people hate you. I, I saw this right now through a Moist Criticals video or... Charlie, Penguin Zoe, whatever you want to call him. That dude has like 9,000 names. <laughs> I saw his video and I was like, wow, what a fucking loser, man. <laughs> you have millions of fans and you snoop down so low to a guy with like 10k. <laughs> that is fucking... Imagine if Joe Rogan fucking got real mad with a guy who had like 500 subs. Could you imagine that? I mean, Joe Rogan wouldn't do that because he's obviously smart and not a fucking <laughs> sensitive asshole. I mean, say what you want about Joe Rogan, but at least he's, uh... At least he, he wouldn't do some shit like that. But yeah, that's my rant about that. I just thought hey, Brendan Shaw's a fucking water, dick. Holy shit. But from this point on, Brendan Shaw should be known as Brendan Snob. I am not referring to him as his real name. It's Brendan Snob now. I want to scan this fucker. I really want to scan him. I'm gonna risk getting caught by this fucking behemoth. Frost would do a lot of damage. Because I do it for science. You guys, remember, I'm a scientist. I do it for science. I'm really surprised it hasn't even seen me. But let's go on your little date, Aloy. No. Nothing stopping me from taking a boat. Wait, can we actually get to ride a boat? Oh wow, is that the Golden Gate Bridge there? Holy fuck, the map just got infinitely bigger. Where are the Quim? They're in landfall, I guess. 
guess. I don't think you were able to go to this area before unless you like swam there, but I imagine that would take forever. So fuck that. And I gotta go on another long ass journey. This whole episode is just gonna be me just like fucking walking talking about Brendan Snob. But yeah, Brendan's not. What a, holy shit, what a douchebag. I didn't get caught? Oh my god, I wasn't even trying to hide. I was just trying to run. You know what's kind of sad about this game? It's really getting overshadowed by Elden Ring. I feel really bad for it because... I like Elden Ring a lot, but I think those two should get the same amount of love. These two games, they should get the same amount of love. Elden Ring is great. This is great. And I've only played like Elden Ring for like 10 hours or so. I don't know how long it's supposed to take you. I mean, like... Because like I said before, who the fuck is actually being Elden Ring? That's a normal person, not like a pro gamer. There's a lot of room out here. That open building looks interesting. I wonder if there's something inside. I'll keep that in mind. Can I actually explore the broken buildings? I think that'd be cool. All I know is I might have a fun time just exploring this world off camera. If there's one thing you gotta give credit to PlayStation and Sony for is that they know how to make a uh, disastrous apocalypse, wor apocalypse worlds. I think that's how you say it. Apocalyptic worlds. I don't know. Oh, God, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> they know how to make apocalyptic worlds. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, they do a real good job. I think Last of Us and. This game are definitely good examples of it. They're two, like, very different apocalypses. It must be the entrance to landfall ahead. Like, this one's really pretty. And Last of Us is really pretty as well, but it's really, like, fucking violent. Is that her? The living ancestor. The divine? This is landfall, right? I'm looking for Alva. Overseer Boha. Your wife? To invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go. Let him know we're coming. It's her. The diviner was right. Overseer Bohai, a stranger, just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat. Lurking in such a guise. I am no threat. 
Okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... That's not Alva. I don't want to see him. Show me her. May I present our honored CO. So, here she is. Our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek and yet know nothing of our way? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes, the final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that the machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. Ah, uh, I don't give a fuck about you two. Your expedition. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. I and seriously we, thought he was going to say greatness from small beginnings. Just to build the flotilla. You know, like when we tried it. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the CO. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all for the glory of the Quen. Good to know. So you Thebes. found Thebes. Or How? Thebes. Thebes. The ancestors Thebes. revealed Thebes. it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered I by hate Alva them. and verified I hate by CO, CO's eyes. It contained They're details creepy. about the construction of a great underground palace. Where exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. <laughs> that has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What, you what exactly for? are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much 
to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. <sighs> Especially one as important as Thieves. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. I don't like you. You fucking creep me out. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thieves? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us. And she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here. I am not helping with shit. I'm helping then Alva. The Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. <sighs> I'm like a fucking Tumblr girl right now. You know, like girls on Tumblr, like when they see like two dudes in like a show or movie, and they're like, "Where are they gonna touch penises?" I'm like that with women, apparently. Okay. Off to the big pyramid to like, that's how I am with, like, Carly Coin and Poison Ivy. Like, why are they gonna touch asses? Or clits? Or anything? <laughs> Is there any other couple I'm like that with? I don't know. I don't know, but Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy is a amazing, amazing couple. <laughs> it honestly might be my favorite DC couple, besides like Batman and Catwoman and Superman and Lois. The machine will kill you. And who else? Can I come in? Where's the machine? Holy fucking titties. Allergic it's allergic to fire. Well, I'm glad you guys did some damage. You guys are not totally useless. God damn it, why do I keep trying this? I gotta stop it. Oh no, not this crap. God, he's got machine guns too? Fucking horrible wind outside can suck my dick. Hold on, let me try something. I don't even know what I was trying to do there. Well, I'm not doing shit right now. I'm trying to hit the thing on top of him. Got it. That thing has to be damaged. Ow. 
Ow, you fucking bitch. Oh god. Don't whip your tail at me. Do I have a health potion somewhere? Oh, perfect, you're coming right towards me. I don't know how you didn't hit me. Ow! Okay. Oh, you like that? You like that? Pussy! He's another trap for your ass. I don't think he's really liking my traps. He's starting to get real mad, oh my god. Oh shit, I'm in that same spot I got stuck in. What the fuck? Oh yeah, come over here! Oh yeah! Come oh, on, don't destroy the trap. I think it did, shit. These traps are just murking it. Uh, did it just forget about me? I'll take it and just laser it like this. I mean, here you go, have this. I got a sneeze and I didn't want any chance of getting hit. Alright. He should be good. <laughs> I'm a fucking monster. You killed that machine. Your CEO sent me. Hail machine hunter. Speak I with need us. To speak to Alva. By all means, then. <laughs> Open the gates. Okay. Oh, there you are, waifu. Over here. Yes, yes, yes. Miss me? Alva. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thieves that I need. <coughs> I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. Look how happy she is. It's so cute. Intense. There's something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thieves. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below. Shall we?
quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrell. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may... Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found. The ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. Ah, what a bastard that man is. I guess it's underwater here. This water's warm. Seems like a hot spring. Is that lava down there? What is that? I can't scan it. Looks a lot like lava. There's a rupture out there. There's no way in. What's she even talking about? What? Where? really hope this is water here, but it really looks like lava. I don't even know what she's talking about. What ruptured pipe? Oh, wait, this? How do I get in it? Why didn't it say it was up? Yeah, it didn't even say it was up. Look at this, I bet you this freaking murders me. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Beep, boop, beep. Bop, boop, beep. Gina Carano's favorite fucking pronouns that she uses to deliberately piss off people for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of agree people shouldn't be so pissed off, but it's like... When you're actively trying to, it's like, okay. Like, you're actively going out of your way to piss people off just because... <laughs> For whatever reason? I don't know. I don't know what she said. I, I completely forgot, and I feel like the world just forgot about her. The living area. She literally went from being in Star Wars to a movie made by Ben Shapiro. Now, agree with him if you want. I don't really give a shit. The point is, she has fallen hard from grace. She went from making Star Wars to fucking right-wing propaganda, probably. I don't know what the movie is at all, I'm not interested in it, because it's probably that. This is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. Oh, it's just a loop de loop here. Wasn't there other stuff over there? I don't know, I think I came from there. Wait, no, I didn't. Oh, here's the door. They're gonna fucking suck my dick right now. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. Look at Alva, so happy for me. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. You have no drip. Oh, why are you dressed like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me. The Renewer. Greatest I hate of the this guy. He's like the fucking who saved the John Walker. <laughs> and you. You understand, Sobek. You are her. 
Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raiment? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? No. Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. You will what? suck my ass. It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Better look good on her. Well, fuck me. It does look good. Excellent. Shall we proceed? Look at this place. The grandeur. Pharaoh's domain. I know, and I did all the work, so go fuck yourself. Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. You're magnificent. Perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exits? Indeed. Let it be done. Think of all this preserved for the ages as destiny intended for me. This guy is such a dick. Pharaoh's visage, a monument to greatness. Truth, my son. It's a monument to something, I'll give you that. The Emperor will heap rewards upon you for this, my CEO. Great risks bring great bounties, Overseer. I think this way might lead down. Excellent. What if I just jump down and glide there? <laughs> and I'm like, figure it out yourselves. I'll take Alva with me. No further discussion of your feet, Bohai. Oh, I'm so glad I saw that from across the stairs. So hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Huh. Statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! This is just us, then. Aw, look, she's ready to fight with me. That's so cute. Fire. Oh Ow, shit. This that fucking douchebag was like, don't let it hit you. Oh, do you want to fight this thing? Oh my god, this guy is an ultra dick. What's the point of reviving if they even come just come back? What is the point? Oh, 
Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Shit. I put a trap there. I think the trap exploded me as well. God, I have a feeling I really need to take a dump right now. <laughs> I don't have to, but like I have that feeling, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, they're everywhere, shit. is such an unlikable douche. I really hope it's intended for him to be an absolute douche. Well, thanks. Where's Overseer Bohai? A wise choice. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delays. We must proceed. Yes. Behind door number one. There is a lot of gold shit in this building. Shut up. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth, but you're going to say like a hundred of them. What is that? A reclining throne attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. He's gonna try and sit on it, what is it for? and it like explodes or something. I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? Scan uh, the device, if you will. I'm good. You scan it yourself. Get good. Oh, you want me to scan that? Oh, you need something for me. Well, scan the device. Well, get good, pussy. I'm not scanning shit for you. If Alva asked me to, I will. I'll just take a dump here. Tell me hey, what Alva. your focus reveals about the device. This. <laughs> What's up, Alva? I think you should scan the device, Aloy. Okay, I think so too. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted'll do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... 
Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok. Or my old colleagues. Or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Oh my god, he shut up. He was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Okay. By the way, when they said Bangkok, every time I think of Bangkok, I I don't know why, but I hmm. think of that one part that from office for a the Hangover chair? Part 2, where they're in the strip club and the lady reveals that she's got a fucking giant schlong dong there. And it's revealed that she's a man with boobies. So anytime I just think of Bangkok, I just think all the women there just have cocks. That they have they are packing down there way more than I ever could. And the and the <laughs> the woman, I guess, I suppose. Was like, they don't call it Bangkok for nothing. Or I don't think she said that. I think she said it's not called Bang Cunt. We call it Bangkok for a reason here. It was something like that. I don't remember the exact words, but it was it was it was something like that. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. Get to it. I'll take my time. I'm not in a rush because of him. God, I really feel like I have to shit so bad. <laughs> like, I don't have to, but I feel uh, it hurry. coming. Break it open. Let's just say I'm going to make a donation to a fucking toilet later. If you're wondering what I ate, I ate Little Caesar's pizza. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm getting all the secrets, and you're getting nothing. I'm giving it all to Alva. A console. Maybe I can access Ted's files from here. Let me just steal everything so they can get absolutely nothing. I want everything. Ted. 
No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Bless his future. Bless his children. Someday they'll come, and I'll be here to greet them. Some tell said my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Some tests of the reactor can give me what I need. To grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Nah, let's scar him for life. Let's let him see it. At last, Pharaoh's legacy is mine. What the hell? Is that? It's him. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if... Kill them too. No witnesses. What? Into battle. Take these charges. Ah, you fucking asshole. Here we go. Don't you dare hurt her. Oh jeez. God, I cannot hit them now. Oh jeez! Stronger for these guys. Oh, the whole place is burning. What? Bullshit! Oh my god, the reload time is being stupid! Acid. Give me your gun. What the hell are they fighting over there? Pharaoh rigs the reactor to overflow if he dies. We have to run. Wait, give me. All 
All right, now let's go. Let's go. Thank you for waiting for me. Yeah, I just get burned alive. I got burned alive too, kind of. Oh wait. Alva, just keep running. Don't even worry about them. So that really was lava under there. Good to know, I didn't just walk in it like a fucking dipshit. I don't have to fight shit. Oh, what? Where? There it goes, I was like, what? I put a new outfit for on? For this fucking asshole. And he has the audacity to do this. Hurry, sire. Shoot him! Just shoot him. Come on. Out of my way. Oh my god, like oh. Fuck silence, this guy's an even more cruel villain. And he gets a Oh my god! Slot armor! Never mind, thank you. It's exactly what he deserves. What a fucking loser that guy was. That guy was Brendan Snob. That guy is Brendan Snob right there. It's he is a Brendan Snob. And he got what he deserved. Fuck, I don't know where to go from here. Oh wait. Oh that's lava! Don't do that, I thought that was rock. Fuck my ass. I get to join Brendan Snob in hell. Ugh, it's the worst fear. It's the worst nightmare I have to hear his dumbass comedy. Oh, here it is. I didn't see this. Don't land in there! Do I have another meal? I don't think I do. Your fucking loser king is dead, dude. Does he look okay? I'll check out this one, by the way. Here, I'm gonna do it again. I love that little attack, it's so nice. Oh my goodness.
I was gonna say, she better not die after all this. found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. You just it like the part where you get to take credit for it. Destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back Yay! on your efforts. Look how happy she is. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Oh, he's so happy to go with her, that's so cute. Am I outfit back? Am I wearing this dumbass thing? I think is a purple? Are you fucking kidding me? I'd rather wear this badass armor though. I can't believe that thing's a fucking purple. Like, what? Swap some of these out. Okay. 
Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to Yippee. the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be worth looking around the island, too. Well, trust me, I will do that. Ah, oh, that place is fucking massive. Holy fucking shit. Holy shiminy titties. I cannot believe Aloy's waifu gets to join her. We love that. I just took a DNA test. Turns out Aloy is 100% gay. This is canon, folks. She is gay with a capital G. Or bi with a capital B. One of the two. All I know is she has a, a certain taste for women. Oh, can you okay? Wom. So, we're fighting immortals from the stars now? Where is she? What's next? Wizards in the moon? Up here? Welcome back. Oh, I see Beta actually did something useful for once. Hey, Lloyd. I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Are you serious? Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct, but the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Oh lord, what has she done? I just wanted to see if uh, Alva's here. Aloy. Yes? I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. 
We don't have a choice. Good luck. Bitch, you're going. The fucking fate of humankind is on your shoulders, and you're like, nah. Beta, you have Fuck to come you. With us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. Their slave. Forever. I'm gonna say find your courage. I'm not gonna say I'll the protect only way you. We can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Zenus for good. And in order to do that, we have to get Hephaestus. The Zenus are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. Bitch, I've been in like two fights you with them. The beginning will never beat them. It's hopeless. Leave me alone! You don't understand! I don't think you understand what's at risk here. I really don't. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? <laughs> Even Aloy is just sick of her shit. <laughs> of Elizabeth. The difference is I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like... Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. Are you serious? I'll go. You fucking right. better go. I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. My god, finally. This girl's you like a- You have to promise me one thing. Yes. Oh my god, what? Of course. If it goes bad? If the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. Wow, this girl's like a stubborn, bratty teenager. 
to make it as efficient as possible. She fucking rages and just Fuck screams and loses her shit at everything. I swear. It's like they wanted to make a very unlikable Aloy. And take away like all the qualities that make Aloy so cool. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Wait, is this the final mission of the game? Is this it? it? This Hold up, I, I need to take a look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. No, it is not the final mission, but there. Are, this is actually... There's only three more left, including this one, so we're really almost at the end. Yeah. A very angry one. As like my uncle Lawrence. Man didn't smile oh, there you are. Hello. Aloy. Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! And you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay, how about... We take it one step at a time. You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. Um. You mentioned there was what is something it? you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But, the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So, the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan... Maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. All right. Well, this video has gone on long what enough. Do, is everything all right? It sounded like there was. Oh, he's checking in with me. With Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. And. Like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Aloy, hey, you need to marry her. She is wonderful. Anyway, that'll be it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll... We might finish it next time. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll see you guys later.